Balenciaga held its fall 2024 show in Los Angeles with the iconic Hollywood sign as its backdrop. Kim Kardashian, Kendall Jenner, Eva Longoria, Nicole Kidman, Cardi B and guest with Erewhon Bags held court on the front row for creative director Demna. Meanwhile, Meghan Markle was blacklisted according to The Hollywood Reporter on Saturday, December 2. The luxury Parisian fashion brand Balenciaga, helmed by artistic director Dima since 2015, dropped down in L.A. to show its full 2024 men's and women's collections on a stretch of Palm Tree Land Wines a Boulevard near Fifth Street in Los Angeles. Its wines a square neighborhood with the Hollywood sign as a backdrop. Helicopters and drones buzzed in the air, and locals took in the entertainment from the balconies in the residential neighborhood turned runway for the day. Among the starry crowd were newly announced brand ambassador Nicole Kidman, Salma Hek Binel arriving with husband Francois Henry Binel, chairman and CEO of luxury fashion group Caring, which owns Balenciaga, Cole Sprouse, Eva Longoria, and more. David Beckham's son, Brooklyn Beckham, and Nicola Peltz also showcased coordinated all-black outfits as they attended the Balenciaga Fall 2023 fashion show. A source close to an insider reveals Meghan's representative W. Me gets events in Los Angeles and in the palm of a hand, but the company cannot put Meghan's name on this fashion event. Fashion events have always been Meghan's favorite shows, but she's only attended it once in her life. In 2013, Meghan Markle had no place at the show as she wasn't a fashion Easter but a self serving opportunist who broke designs. Meghan Markle hoped to attend the fashion show as a way of boosting her image and profile as well as mingling with the elite. Moreover, the source also said that Meghan wanted to be an ambassador for Balenciaga but was even ignored. Newly announced brand ambassador Nicole Kidman was there, having recently taken on the role. Fittingly, the actress wore a Balenciaga gown during a 2006 wedding to Keith Urban, and when the news broke of a recent post, she said in a statement, Balenciaga has been with me through some of the most memorable events in my life from my wedding to the Oscars red carpet in November. Balenciaga enrolled Michelle Yeoh as another ambassador. Now, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's brand appears to be suffering a major blow amid the names of the discriminatory royals emerging. The couple had worked on multiple strategies over the past few months to recover their brand and relaunch it, but seemingly after Omed SCO's endgame. PR expert Edward Corm James suggested to Express.co.uk that the Sussex brand has very little currency left in it due to their wrecking ball approach. While the Sussexes are fleeing the ongoing drama, many have claimed that Scobby source is Meghan herself. However, an insider close to the Duchess dispelled the claims that she didn't want them named publicly via the mail. Experts suggested that since the couple opted for a strategy that didn't align with their status, it appears to have backfired. Omed Scobie also claimed Meghan Marl reportedly took a publicist on a tour of a U.S. magazine while she was still an aspiring actress in an apparent bid to raise a Hollywood profile. Scobie claimed that Meghan visited the U.S. weekly offices to try to get a name out there a year before her relationship with Prince Harry became public. She allegedly wanted to see if there was something to do. Scobie went on to her that Meghan visiting the magazine offices where he worked gave him a rare advantage. He also suggested the visit was a factor in Meghan late trusting him as a journalist.